Hey y'all, uh, how's it going? It's your boy Kanano. We in the flesh. We doing it right. And I'm here today to talk to you about a topic that I want us to be more mindful of. And that's about understanding our resistance. But what a resistance. I know sometimes we enter new relationships. You know, we enter new environments. We enter new stages. We are receiving new types of love, different types of compliments. But something is blocking. Get away. I don't know how to receive. That feels weird. And that's real. You know, because sometimes when we enter a new relationship, we think about the old. Sometimes when we enter a new environment, we think about the old. Sometimes when we receive love, we think about the old. And it's crazy because, because we have experienced traumas and had negative experiences, the presence of good gets overshadowed by them. The presence of good gets blocked by them because we don't want that to exist again. We don't want to go through the heartbreak, go through the embarrassment, go through the failure, you know, go through the pain. And understand that sometimes we are resistant and don't even understand why. We're not even aware of the triggers. We just know that we don't want to deal with it. We just know that we don't want to experience it. But I'm telling you, we can't be resistant to the good. Because we're afraid of the bad. Because the bad is inevitable. Just like the good is. And I know another hard truth, right? It's, it's hard to accept. Well, what do you mean? I'm going to get hurt again? I'm going to fall again? Yes. But if your existence today doesn't show you anything, let it show you that you survived. Let it show you that even though you fell, you got up. Even though you cried, you also end up smiling. Even though it seems painful or it was painful, you healed. Because even though good may feel like it doesn't exist 24-7, neither does negativity. Neither does pain. And I need us to understand why we resist that. It's like I got this compliment, I don't... Sometimes we don't even believe. Sometimes we don't, sometimes we experience the, the traumas and the pain so much that we internalize it and we think that, yeah, this is what I am. Sometimes I, I, I had difficult accepting love, bringing love into my heart because it, was, it wasn't a reality. You know, compliments weren't a reality. You know, blessings weren't a reality. But we hurt ourselves by blocking our blessings. We hurt ourselves by blocking that love. That's, that's what makes life worthy. I know, open up our heart, we feel like we're going to have to close it again. But we don't. You know, we can still hurt and still be happy somehow. We can still be recovering and still see the beauty in life. You know, we're going to get triggered, but if we're not, if we're not conscious of why we're resisting, why we're not able to go into the next stage in our lives, why we're not able to receive love, receive compliments, we're only going to close ourselves off to the world, to our development. And I'm not sure if that's a way that we should live. I believe that it does get better, but I also believe that, that this resistance that we're feeling, it has to be worked through as we talked about last time. And it has to be understood. Yeah, it might, it might feel weird. It might feel like we're not meant to be here. It might feel like we're gonna get hurt again. But I'm telling you, closing yourself off what does more damage to your heart than it does by falling. Because when you close yourself off, you self-isolate. 
you would get even more depressed. You could start even thinking more negative thoughts. So I need us to be more mindful. I need us to be more conscious and understand, again, that even though it might feel weird, it ain't. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.